What did the weird kid in your school do that you'll never forget? He wrote in my yearbook when I was 6 years old. I went into a cornfield. I didn't realize it was a maze. I was stuck for several days without food or water. When they found me. The doctors said I'd never be the same. Good luck in college. Stole a car. Crashed it. Lost both his legs at 17. A few years later he did it again. But this time he stabbed one of the good Samaritans who tried to help him. And shot at another one. He then led the police on an 8 hour manhunt through tropical jungle by detaching his prosthetics and hiding under the leaves and mud. And using a makeshift raft to escape down river under the cover of nightfall. The newspaper the next day read armed and legless. Andrew Hooker made an album of electronica called Hook Anthems and each one was a soundtrack for different mundane tasks of his life. He sold only one copy to a maths teacher, and it's also one of my life regrets that I didn't buy one too. Put a pig fetus head on the English teacher's car antenna. This is the second pig fetus story I've seen as answers to this question. Which isn't a lot but still more than I would have expected. The albino kid in school. He would take off running down the hallway with one hand straight out in front of him and yell. White lightning. He was weird but everyone liked him. Poured his juice on the table at lunch and suction cupped his mouth over it and inhaled it all like a hoover when you put it directly onto a hard floor. He's a lawyer now. I'm not sure if he done this with anyone else but he drew a picture of Spongebob and Cherizard brutally killing me and my friend and then willingly showed it to us. I couldn't help but laugh but it was actually very well drawn. I like that kid. A few days before a pep assembly. Anonymously posted signs all over school that said the cock is coming. Teachers and school administrators were obviously concerned but clueless. Smuggled a live rooster into the assembly and partway through the opening speech at the assembly. Whipped it out over his head as it went apeshti. Entire gym full of kids stood up and started chanting cock. 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 Was not seen at school for a few days after that. Kidnapped a kindergarten from the bus stop and brought her to school claiming it was her daughter. She barked at people and tried to scratch behind her ears with her foot AMD sniffed people's butts at recess. She was 14. He was generally very weird and erratic. One day he extracted a huge slimy booger out of his nose. Turned around to me and a friend and told us full of glee. Guys. Look. Then he stuffed it back into his nose. One day I asked him why he was so weird and he told me with the straightest face. The jester's cap affords one many liberties. So I don't know if he was just weird or a secret genius. Maybe a bit of both. Comma the jester's cap affords one many liberties. These are words to F King live by. Guy and JR. Hi had an unsightly amount of earwax and was obsessed with James Bond. Who he claimed to be his uncle. He would loudly proclaim that James Bond will kick your ass to anyone who questioned his affiliation with James Bond. Made fun of James Bond in any fashion or denounced James Bond skills. He would literally get into fistfights to protect the honor of James Bond. There was also a girl in my elementary school who never wore shoes and was known for her impressive farting skills. I'll never forget the day when our class was sitting on the library floor during a lecture by the librarian how to handle read fold a newspaper. The 90s were weird. It could not have been more boring when all of the sudden out of nowhere the girl unleashed a massive fart that kept going and going. And kept getting louder and louder to the point that the entire class was in full blown hysterics while the fart continued to rage on. The hero we needed that day. Legend. I had an autistic friend. And he was afraid of a particular twin. He was minding his own business in the corridors. And each twin was walking towards each other at different ends of the corridor. With him in between. Frightened. He did what no one would expect. Jump out the window. He was on the third floor. Thankfully. He wasn't hurt that bad. When my teacher asked him why he did that. He said my life was under grave danger. I only did what was imperative to be done. Apostrophe. To this day. I don't know why he was afraid of them. 
he said he was Sonic the Hedgehog. When someone asked his name he would say I am Sonic and run away as fast as he could. He even wrote his name as Sonic on homework and tests. Most people never knew his real name. Edit. This does not take place in the US, sadly, so it's most likely that the person you're thinking of is the same one I'm referring to. I'd like to hear your stories. This girl decided she wanted to be pregnant. She proceeded to ask probably half the people in our high school if they would impregnate her. And then when that didn't work she brought a ziplock bag and asked for guys to jizz in it. Everyone called her sperm bank after that. And I honestly can't remember her real name. College. Halloween party. Weird quiet kid shows up in regular clothes. But wearing a giant strap on with a doll baby attached to it in a certain way. He went as a baby rapist. What the fck. After one of my female friends rejected his advances he proceeded to jump off of his roof. Twice. And broke both of his arms. Second thing. He made a wooden weed pipe in wood shop and then tried to smoke out of it in class. Another weird kid. Who I might mention probably had a cognitive disability. So I don't want to be mean. Hid under a bridge in town and drank multiple bottles of Pepto Bismol. And then went to school acting like he was drunk. He attempted to get people to drink some with him. And then went back to the bridge and tried to light stuff on fire until the police arrived. Another one. A true looney tune of a guy. Shortly after high school was caught with a large amount of guns in his trunk. Rifles, pistols and all that. And went to prison jail over a multitude of crimes. Don't even think he was in a gang. Just pure insanity drove him to do insane things. Pulled down his pants in the middle of a public bathroom and span in a circle while spraying piss everywhere and shouting around the woo world. He would get almost fully naked to pee in the urinal. There was this huge guy. Tall and wide. In our classes. To support his impressive body. He ate a lot. He'd bring an entire roll of cookies, like 20 plus, and stack them on one side of his desk. Them he would take on bite out of cookie number one. And put it to the other side of his desk. Then he would take one bite out of the next cookie and place that one on top on cookie number one. He'd go through the whole stack. Until all cookies were partially eaten and in a neat stack on the other side of his desk. Then would do it again. Take one bite of the top cookie and place that in the original side of the desk. Bite the next cookie etc. After maybe 15 minutes of biting and stacking. The whole lot was gone. Now we weren't even supposed to eat in class. But he always got away with it somehow. If I was a teacher and saw that. I too would not mess with him. Ate a sheep eye we were supposed to dissect in science class. Man oh man. Ended up in a mental institution because his parents bought him a new mattress and while removing the old one they found multiple mason jars full of blood. No exaggeration 2 gallons total. There was a police investigation and turn out it was all his blood. His only answer as to why was just in case. Humped my desk for a solid minute while maintaining eye contact with me. And then said. Thanks and just walked away. I'm a guy. This was 15 years ago. On my first day at this new school. And I was just eating lunch at my desk. And this dude just walked up and went to town. No context. No introduction. Nothing. Didn't even buy me dinner first. Just wham. Bam. Thank you desk. Robbed a gas station dressed as a ninja. Armed with a katana. Stole cash from the register. All the cigarettes he could carry. And a bunch of lottery tickets. He then fled across state lines with a 17 year old girl. He was 19. Not a great result for him. 7th grade. Guy didn't have a pen pencil for the test and the teacher wouldn't give him one. You need to be prepared. Blah. Yeah. The dude took out a paper clip. Straightened it out. Stabbed himself. And started doing the test using his blood as ink. He was quickly sent to the nurse's office. Edit. Oh thanks for the love everyone. It was kinda a sad situation. 
The teacher shouldn't have done that and I think the student was picked on a lot and not very stable in the first place. Sacrifice vital fluids to assert dominance. Pissed his pants on the last day. He was so close. Ran around the hallways making pterodactyl noises with his arms raised up behind him like he was swimming butterfly. Was in the band during some downtime. Some guy kicks off his shoes and socks and bites the ends of his toenails off. Most of the class casually migrated towards the other side of the room. I'm from a small town. There was this weird kid who was a year older. But he was so weird that even the younger kids would pick on him. I didn't really know him. But I put him in the weird but harmless category. He graduates. And then decides to rob the local taco time with a shotgun. Well. It is a small town. The kids working at the taco time all know him. And pretty much everybody in the taco time also knows him. He got two years. Cut his own hair while in class. Mentioned that he would conquer the world with a revolver. Ended up setting fire to his house and was sent to a mental asylum. Pretty mild stuff. Ate styrofoam. And then, visibly, lied about denied it when someone pointed it out. Bits of styrofoam came out of his mouth. Dressed like the Queen of England. Hair. Shoes. And everything, from elementary to middle. And dressed like a doll for a year. Tried to hook up with everyone. Got kicked off stage at a talent show for doing a burlesque routine. Would work her ass or prowess into every oral report. And her last year she came to school two times in just a mini skirt and bra. I didn't know her personally at all but. I've kind of suspected she might have been as sorely abused or something. Edit. Yeah that screams abuse. He regularly threw chairs around the classroom and one time he even held a pair of scissors to a teacher's throat. That was in primary school. He was seriously troubled but seems okay now. Could vomit on demand. WHO was demanding this. He had a book where he would write in people that wronged him. I got put in for smelling like soap. He got caught beating it to lowly PRN in the library. Edited to clarify it wasn't me. Also. Terrifyingly. This blew up. Another edit. Lolican PRN is hente in which underage looking female characters are depicted in Azul acts. Our library didn't have lowly PRN. Or any PRN at all. Really. My brother is a high school teacher and he once texted me that he caught a kid cutting his pubic hair in class. Another kid, not even from his class, randomly ran into the classroom. Took some binders out of a bookcase and started jumping up and down on them. Then he ran out of the classroom again. There was this really mentally f up kid I could probably write a book about. He went through a phase where he was obsessed with JFK. Printed out pictures of him and taped them to everything. His binder. Truck. Locker. Etc. IDK what happened but later that year all those pictures changed to pictures of Hitler. He referred to this as the time that the devil overtook him with evil. He did this same shti with William Shatner and a teacher at our school. But the bizarre satanic Hitler obsession takes the cake. We were getting DNA samples in biology. Most of the class used spit but he tried to squeeze milk out of his nipples. Milk. After that didn't work out he attempted to get pimple fluid from his pimple. When the teacher noticed and questioned he answered I got some out just this morning. I remember once in high school we were on a school camp which included some low level spelunking. About 60 of us had to squeeze single file on our hands and knees through a narrow part of the cave which was about 100 meters long. There was a small section about halfway along which opened up a bit to allow two people to sit shoulder to shoulder. Anyway. Weird kid got to this section and decided he really needed to poop. Not sure what he had been eating. But it was a runny one. He was at the front of the column so we all had the pleasure of crawling through the mess he made. Because we'd come too far to turn back. Combine that with poor lighting and poor ventilation and we had a real mess on our hands. Apparently he put a teaspoon up his ass in assembly. A new lad in my primary school pretended his real voice was a deep Scottish accent. 
At some point he found a piece of broken glass and used it to cut my friend with for some reason and then we never saw him again. Edit. Just for clarification the person he cut was a girl and she came back to school after going to the hospital. Weird kid was never seen again. Edit to further clarification. He didn't always use the deep Scottish voice. Usually he would have a normal sounding voice from what I remember but then he would say to us quietly. This isn't my real voice. My real voice is like this kind of thing. He was a genius. All top scores. One day he called a friend of mine and said. Hey. What are you doing this afternoon? Do you want to come here so we design a time travel machine? Full stop. Who knows when he is now. Bell rings. Playground doors open. Weird kid walks directly to the center and screams for a full minute. I thought it was weird then. But now I can relate. He was ahead of his time. 20 year old in a child's body. He stabbed me with a number 2 pencil in my collarbone area. I went to the hospital but they said I was fine. My stepdad said I would do anything to get out of school. FCK both of those guys. Went to a large school. 3000 students. If anyone said anything to the weird kid that he didn't like. He would stare at you and recite your name and address. A little creepy. Also a little impressive. Chew the stuck gums under the tables. He gave me a handful of blue pop rocks. He was actually really sweet. He repeatedly bugged me about my dead mom until I cried. Emptied a year's worth of accumulated semen in his locker on the last day. Moaned during the exam. Hissed at people in the halls and then bit someone. Edit. Geez I didn't expect so much attention but lem answer some questions. Said girl went to my middle school in Chandler. As. It seems like every school has a hissel mayo but she didn't think she was a snake. Why is there always a hisser? Had a container of red kool-aid powder in his desk and he would open it and eat it by the handful when he would get bored, usually an hour after lunch. This is going to sound ridiculous but during my senior year of high school someone took a huge, and I mean inhumanly huge, tea in one of the girls bathroom toilets that was far too big to be flushed away. Some kid mentioned seeing it and in no time somehow the entire school was made aware and gathered around the bathroom trying to get a look at this monstrosity. Picture 50 plus high school kids skipping classes just to try to squeeze into a small women's room to stare in awe at an infamous shti. The crowd got so big and unruly that the administration finally caught on and banned people from that particular hallway for the rest of the day under threat of suspension. I like to believe that all of us were that weird kid on that day. Our weird kid and his girlfriend made a list of people in the school they wanted to our pay and kill. Shti got investigated real quick but I don't know what actual punishment they got. Edit. For everyone asking. No I was not killed unfortunately. I also forgot to add that they put in detail exactly how they were going to kill everyone. Edit 2. I was speaking to my boyfriend about this and he told me that he was actually there when this all kicked off. They were speaking about it in a math class and him and his friends overheard it. They all started talking about it and it got out to the teachers so sorry for any misinformation in the comments. Actually that happened in my school too wtf. Not weird kid. But kids. Apparently these three really odd guys went camping together. This is in the flip phone days. Two of them decided to jerk off onto one guy's phone and closed the flip phone. Refused to say what happened after that. When I brought it up with him he said I was number one on his hit list. Said he was going to get a bazooka when we joined the military and come blow me up. They all f kid in the woods apparently but never fully confirmed. Sold a school chroma book for robux. Semicolon. Semicolon. 400 robux for an investment of zero dollars. He put a Christmas beetle up his nose while we were at the local pool for swim lessons. We then had to all leave early on the bus so the principal could drive him to the hospital to get the beetle out. A week later he did a small speech at the Friday school assembly about his beetle nose experiences and showed off his beetle in a jar. This was around grade 5 or 6 from memory. 
so 11 or 12 years old. Colon. Okay quick edit. For those that don't know. In Australia we have some beetles that come out around Christmas summer time and are all majestic as FCK looking color wise. Their backs look like those color change paint jobs you see on cars with red and green and purple and whatnot. Mainly a reddy greeny color though. They're also annoying as FCK.